obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will investigate the following process of a droplet inside a vertical channel. In this problem, a water droplet falling in the air is simulated. Therefore, the two-phase flow model is used to simulate the initial air phase and the secondary water phase. This simulation only includes fluid analysis and does not discuss thermal analysis. The purpose of this simulation is to investigate the drop behavior during a downward slope and the extent of its volume changes. No external factor as, as a boundary condition affects the droplet, and the downward movement is based solely on the force gravity. The 3D geometry of the present model is designed by Design Modeler Software. Specific air zone is defined as a cube with a square cross section of 1 cm squared and, and the height of 30 cm. The meshing of the present model is performed by ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type used in, in this project is structured and the total number of elements is equal to 1,086,822. You may double click on the display dialog box and a new window will appear, which, may, which gives you the ability to choose between the different parts of your geometry you want to show in the Fluent software. In the appeared window, you may choose between different parts of your geometry to show or not show just by clicking on them. Since we are simulating the droplet fall inside an air channel, the multiphase model has to be activated. In order to do that, we activate the surface tension force modeling. Under the model section, we activate the continuum surface stress and in the surface tension coefficient part for the water and air surface tension we define the value of 0.072 newton per meter as the surface tension coefficient after double clicking on the controls button a new window will appear showing you different values for an under relaxation factors we may also change the under relaxation factor these factors may be between 0 and 1. Based on the simulation and the project we are doing, we may change this under relaxation factor. But remember that the values set in here are the recommended values for the pro project, and we highly recommend you to not change these values. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals or reaching and uh, nearing the 0, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right-clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. Now, before initializing the solution, we need to define the first position of the droplet. To do that, we click on Refine Coarsen button and a new window will appear. Now, we want a sphere for our initial droplet shape, so we click on a sphere and in the Import Coordinates section, we enter the center of the droplet coordinates and in the Radius section, we enter the radius of our droplet. After double clicking on the run calculation button, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, we change the number of time steps into 720. Each time step has a time step size of 8 e minus 5, and each time step has 20 iteration in itself. In this section, we present the volume fraction of water contour, and you can see how the shape of droplet has changed in the process of falling. After double clicking on contours button, a new window will appear. In the contours of section, we select the phases and volume fraction. We select the water phase since we want to see the droplet volume fraction. As can be seen in this picture, the water droplet has clearly changed its shape due to the body forces exerted on it. The initial shape was like a sphere. But now you can see the shape of the droplet has changed from its initial shape. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project. 
is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at signmastercfd.com. Hope you enjoy.